Good morning children. This is teacher Aura here with another lesson in science. In our last class, we learned about the parts of a plant and how they function. We also learned about the different types of plants. And we also learned about photosynthesis. How that is how plants prepare their own food. Today, we are going to learn about the uses of plants and we are also going to learn about germination how we get new plants from the seeds in this lesson we are going to learn about various uses of plants plants are very useful to us we get food from plants plants make our surrounding fresh and clean Plants are useful in many ways. Plants give us food. Some plants give us vegetables. We eat leaves of plants like cabbage, coriander, spinach. We eat the roots of plants like beetroot, radish, carrot, etc. Some plants like rice wheat maize give us food grains we call them cereals we eat the seeds of plants like bengal gram peas beans etc some plants like papaya mango orange watermelon apple banana grapes cherries give us fruits Sugar is made from sugar cane. Tea is the leaf of the tea plant. Coffee is the seed of the coffee plant. Many seeds have oil in them. We get oil by crushing the seeds of plants like sunflower, groundnut, coconut. Oil is used for cooking. Parts of some plants like clove, cardamom, coriander, turmeric are used as spices. Spices add flavor to our food. Some plants like tulsi, eucalyptus, neem etc are used as medicines tulsi gives relief from cough oil from eucalyptus is used as cure for cold and cough some plants like jute cotton give us fibers Fiber from cotton plant is used to make cloth. Fiber from jute plant is used to make ropes, bags, sacks and mats. Perfume is made out of flower like rose and jasmine. We get paper, rubber and gum from plants like bamboo, rubber and acacia. We use the wood of some trees like teak, rosewood and shisham to make furniture like chairs, tables, doors and windows. Wood is also used as firewood for cooking. Some plants have beautiful leaves and flowers. They beautify our gardens, homes and offices. Marigold, money plant and roses are some ornamental plants.
plants make our world green and beautiful. They keep our air clean and fresh. Plants provide fodder for animals. They also provide shelter to animals and birds. All living beings need plants. We should take care of them by not cutting trees and growing more and more trees. What is germination? When a seed is sown into moist soil, it begins to grow. This process is called germination. It occurs in the following steps. The seed coat splits. A tiny root grows downwards and a shoot grows upwards. This produces a seedling of a plant which ultimately grows into a new plant. After some time, the plant bears flowers. The flowers produce fruits and the fruits have seeds in them. All seeds can germinate when sown in the moist soil under suitable conditions to produce new plants by natural or man-made processes. These seeds are sown into the ground again and that is how new plants are born. So children, I'm sure you all have understood and learned about the different uses of plants and what we get from them. We also learned about germination how we get new plants from the seeds. So it's very important for us to take care of the plants and grow more trees because they help us in many ways. So with this, I end my session and stay safe and keep learning.